Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild. We are back with another video. Today, we're gonna to be revisiting the old solar panel, the scriptless solar panel. Yes, I know I've done a lot of videos on this, but the fun part about this is there's always something that can be improved upon. And someone within the chat boxes began asking me how I would attach one of these things to a station. Now, the short answer of this would be get a ship, build your solar sensor, and attach it to the grid by the landing gear. But I began thinking about this, however, and realized that sometimes y'all are not going to have uh, another ship. Sometimes you may find a base you want to stay at early and you won't have any gravity or anything like that. And you'll have to improvise. So that's what we're going to be showing today, how you can attach one of these solar panel systems that I've got to one of your grids. So we're going to hop in here. So we got everything going on. And we're going to fly over here and do like we normally do. That is, we are going to set down one ultra nice rotor here. And we're going to set us up a nice well, block tower for a squad. Now, this is where things get a little different. We're going to attach another rotor here. We're going to cut that off. And while we do that, I'm going to head down here for the moment. I'm going to access the old control panel. Go to this little orange rotor here. And add a small head. Now this is just for y'all that don't have all this stuff. <laughs> And you need to attach it very quickly. We'll attach that there. And then we are going to... Get this right here into the center. So we're going to have that all lined up perfectly. We're then going to head back down here to our control panel. Grab our newly created piston and we're going to reverse it. Now, as that reverses, let's see. Okay, there we are. We're going to add another block. We're going to go number three here and add ourselves a magnet plate. Now, you'll want all of this welded up. Probably don't need this section welded too much, but you are going to want this block and this particular skate right here, this landing gear, welded up. So this is not going to clang. I know that's what a lot of people are worried. Is this going to like clang or some nonsense? No. Uh, if you're fast enough, it shouldn't. And now what's happened is our little landing gear has now attached. And there you go. We've got our landing gear attached. Just scoop this up. And there you go. You got your landing gear attached to this. We're just going to build our little solar cell here. And I'm going to build this up and we'll be right back when I get it uh, working for y'all. And there you have it, ladies and gents. You can now look at this <clears throat> and see the bottom uh, left corner on the solar panel. And you can see it is just slightly moving. It is catching up to the sun right now to put full maximum power on the sun as it goes across the sky. And uh, yeah, this is how you put the solar panel in space without a ship. It's, it's one of the things I thought would be... I was thinking about it afterward. Someone mentioned it in the comments, how to attach it to a station. And I thought, well, you know, you can use a ship. But then I got to thinking, well, what if you don't have a ship? <laughs> what, if, what if you're starting out in the middle of nowhere and you've got a ship, but you don't have like landing gear to it and everything else. And you don't want to waste the resources on that. You want to just build it on base and, and set it up. And you want it to be perfect. You want to get, because when these solar panels are aligned completely perpendicular, just square perpendicular from each other. You'll get maximum charge off the sun and its radiation. So yeah, that's this thing. How to attach this thing 
on a station an easy way to attach it. You can probably use this same method on planets as well, or in a gravity environment. But like I said, you want an environment with no gravity. Right here, we have no artificial gravity anywhere on this base. I am literally locked on. You can see the X over at the bottom right hand side of the screen. You can see our little power multiplying solar panel just building up power right now as it chases the sun across the sky and is doing a fantastic job of building up power. Right here, if it's actually quit. Oh, yeah, it's slowed down now. And there we go. Like I said, you just use the original tutorial on how to do this. And this is just an easier way of attaching the sensor up top and getting it perfectly square so you get maximum solar radiation on your guide panels or on your solar collectors. And you can build several of these. Uh, this is because somebody in my comments... Let's give this person a shout out who can't, who asked questions that led to all this. Eric or Ari C. Ari C. E R I cap capital E R I space C capital C. That's the one who uh, came up with this, and y'all uh, y'all give me an idea in the videos. I I will if I can remember it who gave it to me, I'll I'll put it up here and let you, and give y'all a shout out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this easier way to put on the sensor. Like I said, this little solar panel thing has been a work in progress, figuring out, you know, how to keep it from disappearing to, to getting it built, figuring out how to get it, keep it from disappearing to now figuring out how to make the solar panel work better. And... You see right now, it's it's turning and facing the sun. It is building power. It'll just sit here and do this. Now in space, there's not a whole lot blocking the sun. So this thing will just keep turning with the sun all day. Just perfect charge at all times. We have batteries out here when we were in survival mode. We'd just be filling them up like crazy. And uh, this here can provide, especially if you got the batteries to store it, it can provide a whole lot of power for a base anywhere. You could just attach, and uh, you don't even have to get that crazy. You could just attach two of these on either side and multiply up about close to a megawatt, I would say. Two megawatts, probably, off of these two, off two of these. But like I said, thank you, thank you, uh, Airy C, for coming up with this idea and um, challenging me to do it better. I actually enjoyed figuring this out. It was it was a small problem, and uh, I do enjoy solving problems like this. And you guys get the benefit of it. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Badger Wild, and stay safe, stay frosty, and keep those grids running, folks. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I am signing out.